how to always look elegant and chic in winter. Looking elegant in winter can be challenging. Thick fabrics and too many layers can be difficult to put together. So today I'm sharing with you some winter outfit ideas with key pieces that I recommend you have in your closet now and for many winters to come. Hi, I'm Silvana Patrick, an award-winning personal stylist and author based in Sydney, Australia. This channel is dedicated to women who want to redefine their style and take it to another level. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I would love for you to do so. I'm also very active on social media, so please feel free to check on my profiles there. I share lots of content. Today I'm not only sharing you my favorite pieces and how to style them, but also some techniques and tricks of the trade that will ensure that you compose an outfit that looks timeless and chic all the time, and most importantly, without costing you a fortune. So first and foremost, organize your wardrobe. I said that many times, without a clean, organized, concise wardrobe, it isn't possible to style. It gets very overwhelming. So get into the habit of trimming your wardrobe constantly. Seasonably, if it's possible, that would be the ideal. It's so much easier to style your pieces when you know exactly what you have and where they are. Not to mention that you get rid of everything that doesn't belong there anymore. And second, having a capsule wardrobe. You hear that all the time, though, but what is a capsule wardrobe? Are key pieces that will really make the core of your wardrobe. It could be thematic, like it could be for work or weekend or whatever you want. But in a nutshell, a capsule wardrobe are those key pieces that are stand the test of time, they have quality, so therefore longevity. They are classics in neutral colors. Some people may think it's boring, well, they can be boring if they are worn on their own. But the thing is, no trendy pieces from head to toe style with each other. Whereas when you mix them with more classic, timeless pieces, that's where it's the styling is all about. It's the mix and match of timeless and more trendy pieces in the perfect ratio. For me, there are two elements in composing a timeless, chic winter wardrobe, or any wardrobe for that matter. The first one is to mastering the art of high and low in dressing. It's my all-time favorite way to style and the fastest way to make you look expensive without having to spend a lot. It's literally knowing which pieces to invest that will instantly elevate your look. The equation is one part of high and two to three of low. Most of my outfits in this video are a mix of high and low. If I ever have to give you a piece of advice that would be to invest in high quality accessories such as shoes, bags and jewelry and keep your low pieces pristine. This is a typical example. Here I'm wearing an affordable sweater that when paired with a designer's skirt and polish accessories get instantly elevated as a result. The addition of jewelry has to be well thought through as well. I think that grays look better with cooler jewelry like silver. If I was wearing something warmer, I would go with golden accents. So really, really the devil is in the detail. Nothing looks chicer than a tonal look, especially when you wear lighter, warmer colors. It's also very elongating. Of course, it can be any color, including black. But make sure that you play with textures to add some interest to the final look. The secret to layering is using thin fabrics that won't create bulk. Think of thin turtlenecks or t-shirts, preferably in a natural fiber that will be soft on the skin and that's breathable. The second layer number is a fitting shirt or a vest that just follow the natural curves without adding a lot of volume. I like to play with contrast of colors and even a little bit of pattern like I'm doing here. Playing. I like playing with contrast like a dark base that is always slimming and topping it off with a bit of color or contrast color or something that will really add interest to the layering. The last layer depends on how cold it is. 
Normally it's a coat, a trench coat or a cardigan. You can even throw a sweater on top of it all. A very Scandinavian way of layering, which is very cool. Now that we learned a little bit of techniques, we're going to the actual pieces per se. And per usual, I like to use the same pieces and interchange them so you know that you don't need as many pieces as you think you do. Now, when they are the right pieces, they multiply right before your eyes. Because winter pieces are the most expensive, it's a smart thing to do to get your pieces during summer sales. That way you save money because these pieces, they should be timeless. So it doesn't matter if it's current or a season or two past. I absolutely love camel. I think that's the first piece that every woman should have in a winter wardrobe. It's not as heavy as black and it's not as high maintenance as winter whites. Don't get me wrong, those are beautiful and they have a place in your wardrobe, but camel goes so well with other family colors like beiges and browns, blacks and whites, but also looks really great with cool colors or bright colors like pink or, or blue or green. So the sky's the limit for styling it. You can definitely go wrong with a camel coat. I cannot leave out a black coat. This is an though I invested in an oversized one, just for that touch of currency. All black is chic, it's timeless, it's elegant. It's really important to play with textures though. Think leather or velvet, or even bright colors like I'm doing here in this beautiful pencil skirt. When you think of a fuchsia pencil skirt, you think of summer. Take it beyond summer and pair it with a coat and black boots. This is one of the two pieces I got this season as I found a gap in my wardrobe for a shorter coat. And I actually love to wear it with denims and ankle boots, but you might have seen in another video of mine where it's today I'm styling it with this neat dress, sexy neat dress, the same exactly colors for that tonal look. And you see that I'm playing with the contrast with the textures here. The dress is not thick, it's a very fine knit and it's really figure hugging so we won't create any more bulk because the jacket is already very voluminous. So in a look like this I really like to show a little bit of skin in the right places like a little bit of leg skin and a pointed toes just to make my legs look a little bit longer. Needs are an integral part of our winter wardrobe. Obviously you can wear cashmeres and, and pure wools, but they are very expensive. And at the end of the day, they won't last forever anyway. So I'm happy to save a little bit money in these types of items. As long as they're comfortable, I tend to like the a little bit of bland and well-sourced needs anyway. But make sure they are not looking worn out and peeled. And I like for my needs, I like to wear it from, from pants to skirt and even over dresses. I am a huge fan of turtleneck needs. I like the comfort and how they sit around your face. They are really, really elegant because everything is oversized today. I go one or two sizes smaller because I don't want to feel overwhelmed. And I like to layer as well. So I like the option of being able to put it, you know, a thicker jacket on top or something like that. So one of my all-time favorite ways to style a pencil skirt is by wearing it with a knit. It could be a satin skirt or a knit skirt like that that I'm wearing on top of another chunky knit, but I'm tuckling it and highlighting my waist and wearing with a heel and showing a little bit of skin in the form of the cutout is also very slimming and elongating. I have to think about that because this knit is a bit thick and it can easily overwhelm the look. But when you, when you wear a tonal look, it's always very elongating. I keep my knits peeling free by using those little fabric shavers that are very effective and inexpensive. Of course you have to talk boots when it comes to a winter outfit. Because for me, shoes are an integral part of a look. 
They are extremely important. They should be really, really well made, especially when we walk a lot and it's our health. I don't tend to invest in too high heels when it comes to boots. I like to have a little bit of heel though. They are the key pieces that will really winterize your look. Immortalized by no less than Coco Chanel, a tweed is a must in any winter's wardrobe. It could be more predictable in the form of a blazer, but here I'm playing with a mini skirt. If a mini skirt feels intimidating to you, try just above the knee and pair it with the stockings for more comfort as well. I'm finishing off with chunky loafers just for that touch of modernity and to balance out the female-male ratio. Another piece that I like to have in winter, but it's not a necessarily winter piece, is a simple shift dress because you can easily style it in layer and throw and wear underneath a coat and I, I'm loving warmth and you see most of the items here are very rich in color and warm except for the grays. As you can see I sparely wear colors but I like to wear color every now and then very cautiously in winter just to break that seriousness of the style. So there you have it, my key pieces for this winter. I hope you enjoy them. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet. And go ahead and like this video. That's very important for the growth of this channel. All the items will be in the description box below as per usual. Please leave your comments there. I love to interact with you when hearing your thoughts. Let me know which one was your favorite. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. Take care everyone.